Hey guys, today we're going to be covering how to import a sample API that is provided by Microsoft into your Azure API management gateway. And uh, this way you can import it and some basically do some testing with it if you're doing testing. So here's my API management, as you can see, and I went to APIs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to open API. And you can fill out this information, but what I would do is uh, there's a link that I'm going to leave in this uh, bit in the, in the description below to this JSON file that contains all the parameters for this API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this and go to a notepad and paste it and save it as a JSON file. I had it before, that's why I'm over, I'm saving over it. So now we have it. So now if I go back here and I just select from file where I saved it, as you can see, everything is filled out for me. And I simply say create. It's gonna take uh, a minute or less and here's my API. And now if I want to test it out, I can open my Postman and see what parameters I need. So for example, this slash session. And it will probably fail because I did not provide the uh, encryption key. All right, access denied, missing the subscription key. So you can provi either provide the subscription key, which I'm gonna show you how to do. So we're gonna go to the demo conference settings and just scroll down and uh, get the, the query parameter, which is subscription key. And then we will go to, my, to a postman and just paste the subscription key here and click this so it can be used in the request. And then we're gonna go here to subscriptions and just get, get the all API subscription. Just click and show and hide. Copy the subscription and just put the value here. Now we're gonna go back to the API and get the URL from the conference API. So the basic URL is this one. This is the base. Oops. We'll uh, check it again once we uh, get the uh, full URL and then we want to get to the API itself. So if we go to design, let's see the sessions one. And then we check this. So now it's going to send with the subscription key and let's test it out. So we send. And as you can see, our response is 200 OK. Let's try another one. Let's see what are the speakers one. So that's a slash speaker. And we send the subscription. And as you can see, it came back okay. Now, if you want to do quick testings and you don't want to add the subscription key, you can simply go here to subscriptions. Of course, that's not in production. That's uh, uh, you know for just for testing. You not so you come into the uh, to the API and you go to settings, and then you just uncheck subscription required and save. Once it's done, you can basically go and delete this if you want. You no longer need it, and if you send now. As you can see, it comes back with 200 OK without a subscription. 
So that's basically a quick tutorial on how to import a sample API and do some testing with it for beginners. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. Please support this channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. And see you in the next video.